something that you know continued to I guess fester as you went along here, or was it <coughs> during or after the playoff series? And also, uh, you've been in the game for a long time. Ideally, what would you like to see in the next manager? Some of the quality, some of the traits that you've seen over your managers that you picked over the years. Well. It's not a snap decision that says, okay, we lost in the postseason. That is not by any means the case. Um, the Houston Astros have a good club, and, and so that's not the reason. I think you're constantly in my position. You're always thinking about how you get better in every different facet. Uh, so it's a thought process that takes place in everything you do. That's how it is for me. Uh, I will say that after um, our game on uh, my days Monday, the game we lost. Um, I sat down with a couple of our people and just talked in general, general about our circumstances. But then, actually, on Monday, uh, Tuesday morning, then uh, yesterday morning, I asked our baseball staff members to get together um, to kind of discuss the overall situation and listen to what people had to say uh, on the topic uh, of our manager spot. I just want to get any feedback and input that I can could. Um, basically after that made the decision myself to, to make a change uh, called John Henry uh, asked him if I could visit with him uh, John came over to the ballpark uh, looked up Tom Warner or Sam came in and uh, told him what my decision was and um, he said well whatever you feel is the best thing to do and so that's really what the process but I had to call the commissioner's office at that point um, because during the postseason you have to make sure that you uh, run any announcements by the commissioner's office so I waited to hear back from them to get the clearance to make the announcement so when I found out that uh, later yesterday uh, we then in turn I called John first thing this morning and met with him in person here at the ballpark asked him to come by I called him around 8 30 this morning he came by a little bit after 9. And your next manager? Well our next manager um, Again, it's a tough job. It's a hard job. And uh, again, I use the, you have all different type of um, attributes that you're looking for in a manager. And with that job, there's a lot of them. And you're talking about job knowledge, you're talking about running the game, you're running, running the pitching staff, communication with the players, communication with the front office, dealing with the media, uh, dealing with the training staff, the list just goes on and on. And I think any individual that you talk to, you weigh how all those things fit together, and then you end up making a decision who you think will be the best for the job. So some people may be more fiery, some people may be more level-headed, some people may be better handling pitching staff, some people may be better at running the offensive part of the game. Again, to find somebody that has all those are very difficult to find. Probably most of them are there in the Hall of Fame. And 